Wisconsin. Kirk Cousins, 20 out of 29, three touchdowns, two interceptions in the winning effort. Don Shane caught up with Kirk after the game. Thank you, Tom. We're with quarterback Kirk Cousins. Let me ask you this. The biggest play of the year has to be the one to beat Notre Dame, but fourth and goal from the one today. Was that the second most important play in your season this year? It was a big play. There was a lot of pressure on that play, and fortunately it worked out. But uh, you know, there were a lot of big plays in this game. It isn't just one play. It's a whole multitude of plays that lead us to that big-time uh, fourth down conversion. But um, this was a total team effort. Uh, we did a great job on special teams, did a great job on defense, stopping the run, stopping the pass, did a great job running the ball and throwing the ball. <laughs> in every area of the game, we did a great job today, Except for turnovers. Did you do some politicking on the sidelines saying you wanted to go for it and not get the field goal in that situation? You know, I don't I don't get paid to play. <laughs> I'm going to let the guys who get paid to make the big, the big decisions make those decisions. So, uh, you know, Coach D'Antonio, when he's here, makes those decisions. And then Coach Treadwell obviously made that decision today, and I'm going to let those guys handle that. You say Coach Treadwell. Uh, Coach Narduzzi said that there were texts going back and forth from the hospital to the coaching staff that maybe Mark D'Antonio made the decision on that play. I, I wasn't aware of it. Uh, didn't know they were texting, but... Uh, uh, very well could be, and that's kind of Coach D's nature, to, to line up and go forward and uh, go win the game as opposed to play not to lose it. I talked with Greg uh, Jones a moment ago about uh, the coach not being here. Did, did, did you guys sense and almost feel his presence even though he wasn't here? Well, Coach Trebel's done a great job of making sure his presence is still here. Coach is not trying to deviate from what Coach D would want. He's making a concerted effort to find out what it is that Coach D, D would want, whether it's practice or preparation for the game or during the game, uh, so that he can then deliver that to the team. So we did a great job today of, of just making sure Coach D's spirit and what he preaches to us year-round was being executed today. Has happened, is what happened to Mark kind of galvanized? you guys a little bit brought you even closer together well adversity always makes you grow stronger um, sometimes you can crumble underneath it but we faced a lot of adversity last year and I think that that helped us in our offseason preparation coming together as a team and now we face some with coach D's health we face them today with turnovers um, adversity is part of football part of life and we just have to be able to bounce back from it we did a good job of that today all right this is going to be a pretty crazy week you know that two undefeated teams both are going to be ranked in the top 20 going into Ann Arbor next weekend your thoughts on that game it's going to be a great game even if we were both defeated and had won a game it's still a big game this is a huge rivalry for what it means to the people in this state and we're going to have a great week of preparation. I know Michigan's going to have a great week of preparation. It's going to be a tremendous atmosphere next Saturday in, in Ann Arbor. Be honest. Is this a tough week to kind of go to class? I'll be there. I'll be in <laughs> class. I'm a guy who goes to class. I'll be there, but uh, obviously we want to enjoy this win and, and uh, you know learn from it tomorrow when we watch the film, but uh, we'll be in class this week. Considering the fact that you are 5-0, and oh, um, kind of under the radar nationally, but you burst onto the scene, don't you think now and convince some people that you deserve a little more respect than you've been given? Well, We'll just play the people on our schedule, and, and the people outside who, who rank and talk about us in the media, they can do what they want. They can say what they want. They can hop on our bandwagon, hop off, never get on. doesn't matter. We're just going to keep playing the guys in our schedule, and people will take notice if we keep winning. Kirk, congratulations. Good Thank luck you. the rest of the way. Thank you.